everyone, Samantha B here, ready to talk about writing, but not just any writing. We're diving into the art of crafting killer section intros for your essays. You know, those little snippets that set the stage for the brilliance that follows? They might seem small, but they pack a punch. Think of it like this. You wouldn't walk on stage for a stand-up routine and just stare at the audience, right? That would be awkward and, let's face it, a bit of a disaster. You need a strong opening joke to grab their attention. It's that first impression that sets the tone for the rest of your performance. Well, section intros are like those opening jokes for your essay. They are your chance to hook your reader, to make them sit up and take notice of what you have to say. They tell your reader what's coming next and keep them hooked on your every word. It's like giving them a sneak peek of the awesomeness that's about to unfold. Trust me, a strong intro can make all the difference between a snooze fest and a page turner. Imagine your reader, eyes glazing over, struggling to stay awake. Now, imagine them wide-eyed, eagerly flipping pages. That's the power of a great intro. So buckle up, grab your thinking caps, and let's get this writing party started. We're going to dive deep into the anatomy of an essay, breaking it down piece by piece. We're about to break down the anatomy of an essay and show you how to write intros that'll make your teachers go, wow, this student actually knows what they're doing. We'll explore different techniques from using quotes and anecdotes to posing questions and setting up scenarios. Each method has its own charm and can be the perfect fit depending on the topic and tone of your essay. We'll also look at some common pitfalls to avoid. For instance, starting with a cliche or a vague statement can be a real turnoff. Instead, aim for something specific and intriguing. Your goal is to make your reader curious, to make them want to read on. And don't worry, we'll give you plenty of examples to illustrate each point. By the end of this, you'll have a toolkit of strategies to craft compelling section intros that will elevate your essays to the next level. So, are you ready to transform your writing? Let's get started and turn those essays into masterpieces that will leave a lasting impression. Happy writing! First up, let's talk about the opening act, the essay introduction. This is your chance to set the stage, introduce your topic, and give your reader a sneak peek of the brilliance that's about to unfold. Think of it like the first few minutes of a full frontal episode, we gotta grab your attention and make you wanna stick around for the whole shebang. A good introduction starts broad and gradually narrows down to your specific thesis statement. It's like setting up a joke. You start with a relatable premise and then hit them with the punchline, which in this case is your main argument. Remember, your introduction is your first impression, so make it count. Now let's talk about how to make those intros pop. Crafting an engaging introduction is crucial because it sets the tone for the entire piece. It's your first chance to grab your reader's attention and make them want to keep reading. One of my favorite tricks is to start with a thought-provoking question. This technique immediately engages the reader's mind and makes them curious about the answer. It creates a sense of intrigue and encourages them to read on to find out more. It's like dangling a juicy worm in front of a fish. They can't resist taking a bite. The question acts as the bait, drawing them in and making them eager to see where you're going with your argument or story. For example, if you're writing about the importance of education, you could start by asking, what if everyone had the opportunity to reach their full potential? See, instantly engaging. This question not only grabs attention, but also sets the stage for the discussion that follows. But don't just leave your reader hanging with a question. Answer it. Providing an answer helps to satisfy the reader's curiosity and gives them a sense of closure. It also allows you to smoothly transition into your main argument or thesis statement. That's how you transition smoothly into your thesis statement and the rest of your essay. By answering the question, you create a natural flow that guides the reader through your introduction and into the body of your work. So in our education example, you could follow up with, education is the key to unlocking that potential and creating a brighter future for all. This statement not only answers the initial question, but also clearly presents your main argument, setting the stage for the points you'll discuss in the rest of your essay. Boom, you've hooked your reader and established your main argument. Remember, the introduction is your chance to make a strong first impression. Use it wisely to draw your reader in and set the tone for a compelling and engaging piece of writing. By starting with a thought-provoking question and providing a clear answer, you can create an introduction that captivates your audience and makes them eager to read more. All right, we've nailed the introduction. Now let's move on to the body paragraphs. 
the meat and potatoes of your essay. These paragraphs are where the real substance of your argument lies, and they are crucial for persuading your reader. This is where you present your evidence, develop your arguments, and convince your reader that you know your stuff. It's not just about stating facts, it's about weaving them into a compelling narrative that supports your thesis. Each body paragraph should focus on a single supporting point that backs up your thesis statement. This means that each paragraph should be dedicated to one idea or piece of evidence, making your argument clear and easy to follow. Think of them like building blocks. Each one adds another layer of support to your overall argument. Just as a building needs a strong foundation and well-constructed walls, your essay needs well-organized paragraphs that build on each other. But here's the thing. Just like with your introduction, you need a strong intro sentence for each body paragraph to guide your reader through your thought process. This sentence should clearly state the main point of the paragraph and how it relates to your thesis. These intro sentences are like mini introductions that tell your reader what each paragraph is about and how it connects to your main argument. They set the stage for the evidence and analysis that will follow, making it easier for your reader to understand and be persuaded by your argument. As you develop each paragraph, make sure to include evidence that is relevant and convincing. This could be quotes from experts, statistical data, or real-life examples. The key is to choose evidence that directly supports your point and helps to build your case. After presenting your evidence, take the time to explain how it supports your argument. Don't assume that the connection is obvious, spell it out for your reader. This analysis is what turns raw data into a compelling argument. Finally, wrap up each paragraph with a concluding sentence that reinforces the main point and ties it back to your thesis. This helps to ensure that your essay is cohesive and that each paragraph contributes to your overall argument. By carefully constructing your body paragraphs, you can build a strong persuasive case that will impress your reader and effectively communicate your ideas. So take your time, plan your paragraphs, and make sure each one is a solid building block in your essay. Section 5. More questions. Keeping the conversation going. Remember how we used questions to spice up our introduction? Well, you can do the same thing with your body paragraphs. Starting a body paragraph with a question can help you transition smoothly between ideas and keep your reader engaged. For example, let's say you're writing about the benefits of exercise. You could start a paragraph by asking, but what about the mental benefits of exercise? See how that question naturally leads into a discussion about the positive effects of exercise on mood, stress levels, and cognitive function? Don't forget to answer your question and provide evidence to support your claims. Section 6, Section 3, Sticking the Landing, The Conclusion. Okay, we're in the home stretch now, The Conclusion. This is your last chance to wow your reader and leave them with a lasting impression. Think of it like the grand finale of a fireworks show. You want to end with a bang. A good conclusion summarizes your main points, restates your thesis in a new and insightful way, and leaves your reader with something to ponder. Avoid introducing new information in your conclusion. This is the time to tie everything together and drive your point home. Section 7. Your turn. Putting it all together. Now that we've covered the basics, it's time for you to put your newfound knowledge into practice. Remember, writing is like any other skill. The more you practice, the better you'll become. So, don't be afraid to experiment, make mistakes, and learn from your experiences. And most importantly, have fun with it. Writing should be an enjoyable experience, so embrace your creativity and let your personality shine through your words. Section 8. Call to Action. Share your thoughts. I want to hear from you. What are your biggest challenges when it comes to writing essay introductions? Share your thoughts, questions, and writing struggles in the comments below. Let's create a supportive community where we can all learn from each other and improve our writing skills together. Section 9. Let's wrap it up. Key Takeaways. Before we go, let's recap the key takeaways from today's writing adventure. Strong section intros are crucial for grabbing your reader's attention and 